When DeMarcus Cousins starts the Warriors, listen to the stat, will become the first team since the 1975-76 Celtics to have five All-Stars from the previous starting lineup. Stephen A., does Boogie Cousins make the Warriors starting five the greatest starting five ever? No. No, he does not. Not in my estimation. I mean, when I look at um, some of the greatest starting fives in NBA history, I'm thinking... You know, Magic with Byron Scott with Worthy, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. I mean, for, for crying out loud, you could throw Kurt Rambis, Michael Thompson, anybody else you want to, you, that you want to throw up in there, figure it out. You look at the Boston Celtics, 86-87, you had Bird, McHale, Parrish, mm -hmm. with Danny Ainge and the late, great Dennis Johnson, God rest his soul, one of the elite defensive guards this NBA. Finals that, MVP. That, that's right, the game has ever seen. We Before he go, got to Boston. Talking about, we, could go, we could go the Chicago Bulls, excuse Excuse me, you had MJ, Michael Jordan, you had Pippen, you had Dennis Rodman, okay? So you look at that and then you can throw in any center that you want to throw in there. From the earlier days without Dennis Rodman, when you had Bill Cartwright and those boys uh, to the Winningtons or whatever. Remember, Tony Kukoc was there as well coming off the bench, even though that's not a subject because we're talking starting fives. When you look at when you look at the Lakers with Shaq, Kobe, Ori, Rick Fox, and those boys, Derek Fisher, you can't ignore that as well. It's not about the individual talent. It's about the starting five, the compilation of the group, and how they play together. We've seen Steph Curry. You know how many times we've watched the Golden State Warriors and from a systemic point of view not look as fluid? and as smooth as we would like, but they're rescued because of the great shooting ability of the Splash look, Brothers. Look, That's entirely different a, than a group playing together and executing accordingly. This is actually a very tricky question, okay? Mm -hmm. Let's assume Boogie comes back as some semblance of himself. Uh -huh. right. Does that make it the greatest starting five ever? Yeah. I would argue yes, but you and I don't disagree. I'm, ar I'm answer answering a slightly different question, I think, than you guys think. Um... I agree with you about the Bulls. Mm -hmm. Michael Jordan, Scottie Pippen, Dennis Rodman. And whether you want to say it's Wennington and Kerr or Kukoc and Harper, once you have those three. On the court at the same gonna, time, yeah, it's, it's, it's a wrap. Now, it's a slightly different. Bill James wrote about this years ago. Who are the greatest brothers to ever play in the major leagues, right? Like you could say, here's a candidate, Hank and Tommy Aaron. But mm -hmm. most of the value is wrapped up in Hank Aaron, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. You know, they're obviously better than Aaron and Brett Boone mm -hmm. because no one's close to Hank Aaron. But really, when we ask the question, we really want the answer that's closer to Aaron and Brett Boone. In other words, how it's distributed. So the total value of the starting five that includes Michael Jordan, Scottie Pippen, Dennis Robinson mm -hmm. is going to be hard to beat. Mm -hmm. But in terms of the fact, like, how is each member of the starting right. five? I don't think we'll, we've ever seen in the modern era anything like if Boogie Cousins is really Boogie Cousins, a starting five like this. Yeah, but when we're talking starting five, we're talking the collection, the, the you just basically the amalgamation of five of individuals. The value of all together. And the value all together in terms of how they look, not as individuals. Because when you talk about starting five, you got to have the cohesiveness. I'll throw another uh, uh, a group into the mix, Max, that nobody mentions. How about the bad boy Pistons? I'm sorry, Isaiah Thomas. Have you seen him play? Mm -hmm. Did you see this brother play? Excuse me, he was Kyrie Irving before Kyrie Irving. Okay, you got Joe Dumars. Mm -hmm. Joe Dumars was exceptional and a dis exceptional defender. He was the only one that could come, even though Jordan averaged 30 against them. Listen, he had to work for those 30. You've got Dennis Rodman that was on that squad. You got yes, John Sally that was on that squad. You have Mark Aguirre, Mark Aguirre. who was a bad People brother. Sleep and nowadays, started, and he replaced Woo. Adrian Dantley, yeah. who was a hell of a player. Bill Lambert was the bad boy in the middle, who, by the way, was a set shooter from the key. That Stephen a, you're making I mean, the Warriors' point here, and no, I'll tell you why. That all I know, no, see, to, to me, I'm not, because I'm not looking at the individuals as individuals. I'm looking at the Check collection of talent. Fine, but check and it I'm out. saying, excuse me, the collection and how they play together, I can't ignore that. But check this out. These Warriors, before they got Boogie, before they got KD, won 73 games. Mm -hmm. Then they got KD and they romped to, to mm -hmm. two, like they destroyed everything except the Rockets they didn't destroy. Right. To the tune of back-to-back -back championships. Mm -hmm. And I would say that their run to back-to-back -to -back championships was more dominant than the Pistons' run to back-to-back -to -back championships. Sure, okay. And now, so now you look at the individual players since right. as a collection, they actually, they actually dominated right. their era better than the Pistons. Individually, as great right. as Isaiah was... Who's going to go down higher on hold the all-time list, hold Steph hold or Isaiah? I, Steph, Isaiah or KD? Well, Steph, no question. But, well, let me say, but let me say this to you. The retort would be dissimilar to what we were discussing a few minutes ago uh -huh. with the NFL. Mm -hmm. Rules changes. How soft the league has become. Let me tell you something right now. As great as the talent was, you see how skinny Kevin Durant is? 
Yeah. You see how slim Steph Curry was? You remember the rules that were employed that these guys had I to work against? I can play that game in reverse. Uh, no, no, I'm just saying. No, 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 no. I can play in reverse. Do you, could that team shoot well enough to win now? Of course I, not. I guess what I'm trying to say to you is that when you take away the physicality from it all, all right. I have to consider it because I'm taking into account what you have to work against all right, but, to get okay, to that point. Okay, but, I can't ignore that. But if you're, I can't that, ignore that's it. A it's a preference. It's just that, a preference. That's a legitimate it's just a preference. point. In other words, those Piston teams were right. better adapted to win in their era than these Golden State Warriors would have been. But, of course, these Golden State Warrior teams are better adapted to win in this era than, that, than those Pistons teams would have yeah, been but, in this but, era. But I guess Why do I, they have to play in yeah, the Pistons I guess era? what I'm trying to say to you is that if you took the Pistons yeah. and you put them in a softer era, uh -huh. you're talking about health working the event. Now, they might have more fouls called against them, and that might have been a problem. But the difference is if I take today's player and I put them in the previous eras, allowing that level of physicality, I got serious serious questions about whether they can last. Well, and that's an issue for me. That's an issue for me when I'm talking championships, Max. Only is, championships, not regular You season. are actually not talking talent. about, I think you will both appreciate this. Mm -hmm. We were talking about higher education before. You're mm -hmm. talking about the tautological nature of Darwinism, right? Mm. That's really what we're talking about, mm. isn't it? The tautological. I guess I didn't learn that at UConn. I would have had to really? go to Ivy yes. League to really? get that. I, I, in other I, words, I, in I, other I'm words, not joking with you. I'm yes. like, what yes. the hell is that? In mean? other words, the, those who get to pass on their genes are the ones okay. who are best adapted to pass on their genes. Those Fair teams enough. that are success in a given era yeah. are those that are best adapted for that era. Repeat what that is. Those teams, no, 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 no. Oh, uh, the tautological nature of Darwinism. Tautological nature of Darwinism. Yes. I'll remember. And that. I was going to ask. I was going to ask. Seventy-two <laughs> Thank you very much. I didn't know. Years, Never heard of that in my life. Get to Darwinism. Never heard of that in my life. Thank you very much. I sincerely mean that. I'm going to look it up. You've heard, you've heard of Darwinism. No, not tautological yeah. nature <laughs> okay, of Darwinism. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't know that. <laughs> uh, you know, 